everybody welcome back to my channel it has been a while like three or so months i think since i posted a video man i needed a break after briar fest and everything i was super super tired the weekend was so much fun but also so exhausting i feel like briar fest gets harder and harder every year and when i was a kid i never understood why my mom didn't want to go with me i was like what do you mean this is so much fun and now that i'm getting older i understand completely karen i've done my time i'm a seasoned collector the only reason i need to go is for my special runs and then i, I can spend the rest of the time at the clarion because that's where i buy most of my models anyways so Today we're gonna look at the models that I bought at Briarfest this year. We're gonna start with Thursday, because that's technically when Briarfest started for me. Right off the bat, we have this little mini, so the stable mate, who was painted by Rory or White Wind Studios. It's a little Snoopy. Listen, I'm about to show y'all why I'm a bad friend. <laughs> Rory is White Wind Studios on YouTube. That much is correct. But on Instagram, it's White Wind Collective the more you know. Super thankful to Rory for painting this guy for me. He's so cute. I love him. And he sits on my shelf with his brother. So if I remember right, this is Firebird. And then Avi is Queen Avi May on Instagram. So, um, yeah, didn't get that one right either. I'm so old that I'm using old usernames. Apologies to everybody. I remember when Avi posted about this guy on Instagram, I was absolutely in love with him. So when I saw him for sale in the rooms, I, I just couldn't couldn't say no and he's so cute and I have two customs by two of my friends and I'm very very happy I love them look at them they're so cute together wow I did get another horse from Avi and this is this guy I know he's not super exciting or super fun but she got him, I think, in a body lot because you know she customizes if you, you didn't get that from this guy freeze frame here don't know why, don't know what joke I wanted to insert, but I didn't leave a note. I got no idea, bro. He's super nice, super cute, love him. He's going to sit with his brothers. Now, I believe the next models I also got on Thursday night, I could have gotten them Friday, but I'm pretty sure it was Thursday night because we also went to the swap meet on Thursday night, which the swap meet, I normally buy so much of the swap meet. I love the swap meet. Stand by the swap meet. It was not it this year. I will say though, I saw Conquistador, almost did it. This close, but I'm really glad I didn't because I purchased another horse at Briarfest who actually is my most expensive model that I've ever purchased. I'm way happier with her than I would have ever been with Conquistador. So it worked out. I got Mr. Harley Man who I love him, he's super cute. I just could never justify like buying him new in box from Briar. So I got him in a trade. And then in that same trade, I also got Ichabod Crane. That's your name? Tell me! I fell in love with this mold because of Danny. Uh, and so then I got Catch Me and now I have him. And I don't know if there's anybody else on this mold that's like a regular run. I don't even know if he's a regular run. See, he's not. He's a special run, apparently. You're a bay. I just assume that you are a regular run. Maybe he's like a store model. Am I a joke to you? He's my bay. Now moving on to Friday. I'm pretty sure Friday I just got my special runs and my celebration model. I think I might have bought some other models, but I'm, I'm now we're getting into where I, I I don't know what's divided by what. So like everyone else, I got Brevore 54 and I think we had like five Brevores. We decided that we were going to take one of them and toss them around like football. <laughs> so, <Okay>. woo! <laughs> I, I love that just the consensus of the model horse community this year was we're gonna shoot him with a BB gun, we're gonna toss him around with a football, we're gonna do all these terrible things. <laughs> so this horse, who's not even bad, he's just on a bad mold. But I can't wait till you guessed it, film with him because he's, I don't know, he looks like he'd give you some sage advice or be like the council member who's really stupid and doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, yes, yeah, so, uh, I think we should attack here. It makes the most strategic sense. What did you say? That's not even our, uh, 
heard, felt, seen, bestie. And then, I think this is Scurry and Axel. Apparently there was a Surrey and a Scurry this year. So that's confusing, Briar. What horse, to who's who? I don't know, but this is the Marin Fall. I was so stunned that they did a variation. I actually wasn't gonna open my Marin Fall set at the park. I was like, oh, they never do a variation. Why would I, why would I open them? And then Grace opened hers and I was like, shut up. I want to purchase eventually a standing variation, but everybody who's selling just the standing foal on their own is insane. I saw somebody who was selling a standing foal for a hundred dollars, especially because it's a 50-50 split. Do not pay a hundred dollars for one variation of this horse. Do not do it. Next, I got Speos, who I really, really thought I was going to love. He's just, he's too much. <laughs> if he was more matte, I think I would seriously love him, which is crazy because I really love not full glossy, but, but not fully matte model from Briar, but he's he's just not doing it for me. And the very last special run I got was Pinatine. He is the first ever uh, model I have on the Bridie mold, and it's huge. <laughs> I was not expecting him to be so giant, but he is. He's super big, big boy. Okay, so those are all of my special runs, all the horses I got in the park. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of my Clarion purchases. Before I get into that, I have a couple of honorable mentions that I've bought after Briarfest and then one that I bought before Briarfest. So we're gonna start with a guy that I bought before Briarfest. The first honorable mention I have is this guy who, forgive me, I don't even know this one's name. I have never loved this mold. Never ever in my life have I wanted him. But I was in Virginia helping shoot Vengeance Rain with Poe and we went to Daydreams and Things to look at the pretty ponies. And I saw this guy and for whatever reason just absolutely fell in love with him. His roaning is insane. He's so nice. Like he's absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. His little nose. Look at his little nose. And he actually got a name because I love him so much. So this is little, this is little Milo. Have sex, have sex. All right, and then my most recent purchase who I actually got like two nights ago is this dude whose name is escaping me. <laughs> he's a tractor supply model from this year and he's stunning. Like seriously, shut up. Insanely gorgeous. Look at his face. Look at the little snip. Anyways, back to my Clarion purchases. Here we have Sunday Silence, or as I like to affectionately call him, Royce. This is my boy. It's my goal to eventually get models of all of the characters that I voice in Vengeance Reign. So I already have Neptune because I have fire. Very, it's probably going to be the most expensive one to purchase. But now I have little Royce, which works out because I love Royce. He's my favorite. I love you. You problematic boy. There, there. It's all right. And then I got Melange. Melange? Melange. She was $100 in the room, but they had like 50% off sale. And so she's a little yellow. I think 50 bucks is fair for her. She's stunning. There's nothing wrong with her other than the yellowing and she doesn't smell like smoke. The next model, this is the most I've ever spent on a horse. And you're gonna sit here and say, Megan, this is the best horse that you purchased all Briarfest. And you're wrong, it's not. She's the second best. I got a Gold Raven. This was the year of Gold Raven because Grace also got one. I saw her and it was like one of those, oh crap, I have the money. I literally have the money. And I want her so bad. She's so gorgeous. I mean, look, look at that face. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. This next horse, this is the best purchase of all of Briarfest. And he was only $10. She was sorry. More specifically, this is Silent Night. Look at how derpy he is. He's my favorite. I love him. I've wanted a Kimisabi so bad. And now I finally have one and I just want to get every Kimisabi that I see. I see a Kimisabi in the Clarion, I buy him. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> He's mine. I just get a bunch of customs on Kimisabi. Ugh, Kimisabi is my horse. I, um, <laughs> I hand him to the guy to wrap up. And he looks at me like, does this guy even deserve to be wrapped up? Mind you, he's in perfect condition. I was like, how dare you? You take that back right now. He deserves to be wrapped up and loved the same as any other model. This guy right here, a better purchase than my gold raven. And the guy was just laughing. He was like, okay, okay, I'll wrap him up. But they're dating. 
They're in love. Okay. It's Kimasabi X Gold Raven. Look, like, look at them. They make a perfect heart. Are you sure about that? The next horse I got is just as bad as Kimasabi, uh, but not nearly as fun as Kimasabi. I got the Lady Roxana. La Lady Roxanne? I don't bro, I don't know. I got her. She's super cute. She's got such a sweet face. And I actually got her new in box, which was super fun. Um, Cause I saw other people who were selling her. They were beat up, man eat up. I did purchase more than just horses this year. I was not a VIP member, but I did get the bento box because it was just, it was so cute and I love me a good lunchbox. I'm a, I'm a slag for lunchboxes, babe. Could not justify purchasing a VIP ticket because they're expensive as hell, but I was very, very thankful that people were selling their stuff secondhand. I also got a ton of stickers, most of which I've put on my laptop. I got the entire set of the Vengeance Rain stickers, Lalit's kind of pissing me off because his nose is all crinkled, so it keeps lifting up and I keep having to press it down. I got a couple of stickers at the Pride event, and then this one right here is Paint Honey Studios. I got another sticker of hers, but as you can see, I did not account <laughs> for having to crunch space on my laptop. This sticker from Paint Pony Studios, super cute, super cute. We also got a, um, in my group, we got To The Pit uh, hard pins, which I had never seen To The Pit until Briarfest when um, Mercy and Shay were both like, you've never seen To The Pit? I was like, no, I have not. <laughs> and so I was educated and it was very funny. If you've not seen To The Pit, 10 out of 10 recommend. There was also um, one of Stormy's videos that we watched that was also very, very entertaining. Um, that, that was what we did. <laughs> in the Airbnb. We watch a ton of old model horse content. So Grace and I wanted to get mini Winnie earrings last year, but we couldn't find any. We found some this year and I'm really happy that we did. And then I also, this one's not mine, but I also got a Vengeance Rain shirt. What did I do to the back of this one? I don't know. This is, this is me being messy. It's not the shirt being messy, uh, but on the back, you've got the Sheeran sigil. I got a pink one, so super super happy so that is it for my briar fest purchases this year i am super stoked to see everybody again next year let me know what your favorite purchase from this year was i again obviously mine's kiyosabi and if you don't like kiyosabi you don't like me this is snoopy as my horse